Young Violetta, a spirited entrepreneur, owned a quaint fruit stand in a bustling market in Sicily. Every morning, the sun kisses the colorful fruits displayed like jewels in her stall. Violetta, with her radiant smile, greeted customers, inviting them to savor the flavors of Sicily. Her stand boasted an array of succulent oranges, plump tomatoes, and fragrant lemons. The air was filled with the sweet aroma of ripe peaches and the tangy scent of citrus. Locals and tourists alike flocked to her stand, enticed by the vibrant display. Violetta's passion for her fruits was contagious. She shared stories of the fertile Sicilian soil and the care that went into cultivating each piece of produce. Customers not only left with bags of fruits, but also with a deeper connection to the land and its flavors. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the market, Violetta reflected on another day filled with laughter, satisfied customers, and the joy of sharing Sicily's bounty. Her fruit stand was not just a business, it was a celebration of the vibrant, delicious life in a Sicilian market. In the heart of the African savanna, Angela, a skilled photographer, found herself embraced by an extraordinary tribe. This unique community with rich traditions had welcomed her with open arms. Angela, armed with her camera, embarked on a journey to capture the essence of their vibrant lives. The tribe, adorned in colorful attire, shared their stories through dance, song, and ancient rituals. Angela marveled at the profound connection they had with nature and each other. From sunrise to sunset, she documented their daily routines, the laughter of children echoing across the vast landscape. As the days unfolded, Angela became not just an observer, but a cherished member of the tribe. They taught her the art of survival in the wilderness, the secrets of medicinal plants, and the rhythm of their captivating ceremonies. Through her lens, Angela not only preserved moments frozen in time, but also discovered a profound sense of belonging in this close-knit community. In the African savanna, amidst endless stretches of grass, Angela found not only captivating images, but a family that transcended borders. Lola decided she needed a break from the hustle and bustle of city life, a respite from the daily grind that had left her feeling stressed and drained. Seeking solace in the serene landscapes of Hawaii, she embarked on a journey to rejuvenate her weary spirit. As Lola stepped off the plane onto the tropical paradise, she was greeted by the soothing melody of the ocean waves and the gentle rustle of palm trees. The vibrant hues of the flowers and the scent of exotic fruits filled the air, instantly calming her senses. Lola's days in Hawaii were a blissful escape from deadlines and traffic jams. She spent lazy afternoons lounging on pristine beaches, feeling the warm sand beneath her toes, the rhythmic swaying of hula dancers and the ukulele's sweet melody provided a melodic backdrop to her newfound tranquility. Exploring lush rainforests and hiking to breathtaking viewpoints, Lola discovered a world far removed from the concrete jungle she called home. Surrounded by the beauty of nature, she gradually shed the weight of stress that had accumulated over time. As Lola reluctantly boarded her return flight, she carried with her the memories of Hawaii's serenity, ready to face city life anew. The island had worked its magic, and Lola returned refreshed, armed with a newfound perspective on the importance of balancing the demands of the everyday with moments of peaceful escape. In moonlit nights, the river whispered ominous secrets to the villagers. They spoke in hushed tones of Ari, the enchanting mermaid who lured unsuspecting men into her watery domain. With siren-like allure, she beckoned them with ethereal melodies, guiding them to the heart of the river's dark embrace. Rumors circulated of those who vanished mysteriously, leaving behind only echoes of anguished cries. The village, gripped by fear, 
avoided the river's edge after dusk. But curiosity, as insidious as Ari's song, compelled a daring soul named Thomas to investigate. Drawn by the haunting melody, Thomas ventured into the moonlit waters. The river's surface shimmered with an otherworldly glow as he approached Ari, her beauty captivating. Yet, as he reached out, her facade dissolved. In a ghastly revelation, her once alluring features twisted into a monstrous visage, teeth bared, ready to consume. The river, a silent witness to Ari's secret devouring, whispered its tales to the wind. The village mourned another lost soul, forever ignorant of the river's macabre secret, as the moon cast its eerie glow on the ripples, concealing Ari's malevolent truth. In a small town nestled between rolling hills, excitement buzzed as Selena, the master of Plastic Fantastic Circus, arrived. Her arrival was like a burst of color in a sepia world. The circus tent, a kaleidoscope of hues, unfolded to reveal a magical world. Children's eyes widened as Selena, with her vibrant costume and a hat adorned with whimsical plastic ornaments, stepped into the spotlight. The Plastic Fantastic Circus was no ordinary show. It was a spectacle of recycled wonders. Plastic bottles transformed into juggling pins, and discarded containers became the canvas for an extraordinary puppetry performance. As Selena twirled and danced, the crowd marveled at the creativity spun from discarded treasures. The circus was not just about entertainment, it carried a message of recycling and repurposing. As the final act unfolded under the starry sky, Selena took a bow, leaving the town with not only memories of a spectacular show, but also a reminder that magic could be found in the most unexpected places, even in the realm of plastic wonders. Selena, a creative soul with a heart full of imagination, was the mastermind behind the Plastic Fantastic Circus. In a world where discarded items were forgotten, Selena saw potential. Her circus wasn't made of traditional tents, but of recycled wonders. Old plastic bottles transformed into acrobats gracefully suspended in the air. Discarded toys became the stars of Selena's enchanting show, showcasing incredible acts of balance and agility. The Ringmaster was a charismatic puppet crafted from recycled newspapers, captivating the audience with tales of eco-friendly adventures. Children and adults alike marveled at the vibrant colors and inventive performances. Selena's mission went beyond entertainment. It was a reminder that beauty could be found in the most unexpected places. As the Plastic Fantastic Circus traveled from town to town, it left behind not only smiles, but also a trail of inspiration. Selena, the creative visionary, turned discarded materials into a spectacle of joy, proving that with a touch of imagination, anything could become a star under the big top of the Plastic Fantastic Circus.